great tip on school or maybe you can just apply this in life because it's about procrastination. You know those people who always make excuses to get things done later and usually when later comes, later never happens? <laughs> That's me. And that could be you too, okay? But we are not best friends because both of us as procrastinators, but things will never get done. Now think of it as just like inventors, people who invented bridges, all right? Do you think those people procrastinated or that person procrastinated on building a bridge? I'll build a bridge later, okay? We'll just have people swim for now. Or people who invented airplanes, do you think they really said, people can just... I don't know, dig a hole underground and there goes China. Samuel Morse, the guy who invented the telegraph, he didn't just say, people don't need to talk to each other, I can do that later. You know, people can just hold up cups next to them and talk to each other, there goes a telephone. The iPhone, what is an iPhone? If it weren't for Samuel Morse, you can't be on your iPhone, your Droid, your Blackberry, whatever, twittering to everybody that your boyfriend just broke up with you through a voicemail. You know, if it weren't even for phones, your boyfriend can't even just break up with you through a text message. Nowadays, he might have to break with you through a a message in a bottle in the floating ocean, you know? John Harrington, the guy who invented the flush toilet. Now, we all know that the flush toilet is very valuable, okay? Now, I don't think he said, mm, that is why they invented people's backyards, okay? So when people have to go, there you go. Now, John, if you'd have never, ever invented the toilet, I would have been so mad, okay? Because I don't want to wake up every morning, see my neighbor pooping in my yard. That is why I should think the person who invented a baseball bat. Judson Whitcomb, the guy who invented the zipper. I don't think he waited around and said, you know what, I'm just going to let somebody invent the duct tape, okay? You don't want to duct tape your stuff, okay? It is not pretty and it is not a pleasurable feeling when it rips off. My point is, if everybody procrastinated, do you think our world would look like this? No, no. Ladies, that is the kind of man you want, okay? You don't want Mr. Procrastinator over there or, you know, the one sitting next to you right now. You want Mr. Look. I've got a Ferrari. Hey, Mr. Procrastinator. Procrastination is an adjective and it means to put things off later. And now that word later, um, it usually means never gonna happen. The word later is not a day of the week, okay? So do it now. Don't let procrastination be your best friend. Let it be your enemy. It's evil. What I mean by do it now is, I don't know, turn off the freaking TV and turn off YouTube and do it now. I used to always procrastinate. Now that I'm in college and I go to school six days a week and I'm taking 21 units and like 30 hours a week, okay, there is no room for procrastination. Okay, let me give you an example. Now, my philosophy teacher told us to read book one of The Lord of the Rings by in two days, okay? And I said, all right, I'll read it in five days. <laughs> I'll just watch the movie. And yesterday in class, I look like I was the dumbest person in there. All right, story of my life. The whole time my professor was talking about Frodo Baggins, Bilbo Baggins, who is Bilbo and what kind of name is Bilbo? Here's my advice. Do things now. Do it right now, today. And don't wait to the last minute and value your time today because tomorrow will be the day that you'll be celebrating the day that you had yesterday. And now you can watch all the YouTube shows that you want, all the things that you missed from Jersey Shore, Gossip Girl. Okay, bye-bye.